slowly sunk to the riverbed. Dean's mind is flashing back to the old day. Why is all this happening right now? In a small village of South Vietnam, that flag doesn't have the smoke of cars like the city. Not crowded with people, but a very peaceful and gentle village. There are many small tributaries here. The scene of the daily market on the boat is a unique point here. In a small hamlet, children is close to the same age often play together. There's a four children, Mel, the twin brother, B and Bor, and lastly, Din. The only four children in the small village are very close to each other. Din is in seventh grade this year, Boy and B are in fifth grade. The youngest is Mel, who just started fourth grade. Living near rivers, curious children running to the riverbank to fly is almost inevitable. There had been many drownings in the village. Parents just told their children not to go out there to fly. But one day, Tint, who has just been taught to swim by his father, invited his three friends to swim in the river for fun. Because of their curiosity, the whole squad quickly sneaked their parents and ran to a river branch a few kilometers away from the school to fly. Out of four children, only Tin can swim. Tin is very confident with his swimming ability. The remaining three children just fly near the river bank. A while later, Tin swam into the middle of the river and said to Bo and B, Bo, B, swim out here with me. Trust me, it is not so deep. The twins happily swam to Tin. Seeing that, Mel also swam out. At this point, Din doesn't know that his war had created a dire future. Swimming out with the twin for a while, Mel felt like someone was holding her feet. She dug her face in the water to see, but before her eyes, a kid with a white slippery skin and swelling all over her body was holding her leg. Mel was just about to raise her face to call for help. Suddenly, another hand appeared and covered her mouth from behind. Many sticky hands were trying to pull her into the water. In the distance, Din saw Mel struggling. He immediately swam to try to save her, but when he got close, he no longer saw Mel. Din tried diving down, even though he had been up and down for more than five minutes. The water level was really not too deep, but Din couldn't find Mel. At this time, on the water, the two brothers were also swimming back. Bo first and B swam right after him. Suddenly, B also felt like someone was pulling him into the water. Before he could call his brother, he was pulled down very deep. Bo swam to the shore. Din also gave up looking for Mel and swam to the shore. Din started crying while asking Bo, Where is B? You two go and find more people to find Mel. Bo panicked and looked at the river bank. Since when did he not know that B was no longer swimming with him? His face became completely shocked, crying and running to find adults to help. Din stay to keep the position. After a while, Bo returned with more than five adults. Four men quickly jumped down to find two children. One person stayed on the shore to observe. After more than 20 minutes of diving up and down, there were also more than five people who have tried to dive into that small river to find Mel and B, but they couldn't find them. Parents of four children also came. When they heard that they couldn't find Mel and B, they cried and fainted on the shore. Nine men teamed up to search for two children on a small river, but couldn't find them. The river's flow wasn't too strong, nor was it more than three meters deep. But no matter how hard they tried, they couldn't find the two kids' bodies. It was like someone is hiding their body. Very quickly, a week later, the funeral of two children were held. The box did not have a body in it. Although they mobilized a lot of manpower to search the nearby areas, but couldn't find the body of two children. The river in this area is famous for many drownings, but nobodies were found, or only found a long time later. The second day of the funeral, Din and Bo had a strange dream together. In their dream, Mel and B were kept by small children and some strange adults. Their white body was swollen in many places. The two cried for help, causing the two children to wake up and crying in the middle of the night. 
after telling this story to the twins' parents, B and Bo family decided to ask the old man of the village. On the third day of the funeral, when the old man heard Bo family tell about Bo's dreams, he immediately ran to the riverbanks, set up an altar, and recited incantation and prayers. He asked Bo to dive into the water for a bit. On the riverbank, Bo got on a rope and jumped into the river. After a while, everybody suddenly saw Bo being pulled down. The old man suddenly shouted, "There!" The brother body is there. More than 10 men in the village immediately swam to the area where his ball was pulled down. At the very bottom of the river, they found B's body. His body was already completely disfigured. There was no way to recognize it if it weren't for the necklace around his neck. But what about Mel's body? Mumbling for a while, the old man panicked and cried and knelt down begging for something. The old man told Tin's family, because Mel was swimming with him, she was unjustly dragged by a ghost. The girl's resentment was too strong, and this ghost has been buried in the river for too long. After dragging Mel to replace it, it has escaped, and Mel was stuck in this river. In the future, it is possible that Tin can be caught by Mel to replace her position. The old man also told more about the ghost. That ghost is called Maya. Maya is the spirit of drowned people, usually the souls of children. Children's souls have very strong vitality, so they are easier to be imprisoned in the river and cannot escape. The spirit of the dead person will look exactly like that person's body. Maya are trapped near their body and can come back. They have to watch their body and soul decays and decompose, gradually become ugly and unrecognizable. Usually, the drowned corpses are in a very disgusting condition, white skin, with many large bubbles all over the body. It could be worse if there are many creatures in the water. Many parts of the body can be eaten. They were trapped underwater for a long time. Unable to escape to undergo samsara or transcendence. The only way is to drag a person down to die to replace their position. Not only drag a person down, they also have to hide that person's body in the riverbed so that no one can find it. If someone finds it within 14 days, they will not be able to escape. Mel's body was hidden by that demon. This demon is very strong and has a very deep resentment. Tin can only be sacrificed to get Mel's body. Everyone in the family was crying on the riverbank. Never go swimming, go to the river to play when you do not know how to swim. Especially with the kids. When hanging out with your friend in river, lakes or beaches. If you don't know how to swim, Maya will most likely drown you. You will have to endure a cold loneliness under the water for many years watching your body decompose, not being able to see your parents again. Remember, never go swimming if you can swim. And parents, make sure your children don't go around dangerous places to fly and make them learn swimming lessons at pool that have a lot of adults. Swimming is very important. It is not just a survival skill. It also helps children's physics develop better. They can be taller and be more confident in the future.